And um, today's video, I'm making the noises. Can't speak. Um, I believe that. Ignore that making noises in the background. But for today's video, we're going to look at some donations and some pickups, and then we're going to have some news and discussions. A good old fashioned talking to the camera video. Don't get too many of these done. Must get more done. Anywho, first of all, uh, Kieran Retro Tech 100, who has a, a very good YouTube channel that covers gaming technology. Uh, he was over here a while ago, and we did a live uh, gaming show where he got a little bit tipsy by the end. But it was a good show and lots of fun. Uh, if you've not seen it, I'll put a link down below to that live show. And uh, I went round to his a few days later because he said he had something for me and he donated a few things first of all a while ago my little story i said tuck yourselves up in bed children it's time for a story because a while ago i decided to do a video where i would take an original playstation and chrome it well chrome spray it and I started the video, took the PlayStation apart, uh, put the undercoat on and sprayed the chrome spray and it was a disaster because no matter how long you seem to leave the paint, it wouldn't dry properly and you know it was fingerprints I'm touching it and then you'd have to do it again and it just turned out to be a complete disaster and I ended up throwing the thing away. So, Kieran found out about this and he had a spare PlayStation, original PlayStation. So, he has donated uh, this PlayStation to me. So, thank you very much, Kieran. Uh, it's very nice. We shall use it downstairs on the big TV. So, that is that one. While I was there, Kieran has a, uh, a little tradition that when retro channels go visit him, he has a lucky bag. You put your hand in there. A bit dodgy, uh, and you grab something. And to my fortune, I grabbed Sagat from Street Fighter. Ta -da. So he now hangs up here. Don't know if you can see that, but yeah, he hangs over there. So that is that one. And the third thing he gave me, which is very, very, very generous is, well, you'll see on the live show, uh, because we've moved, we have no access to USB uh, joysticks. They've either disappeared or they're in storage. We do have some on the way now because we've got, we've ordered some USB versions of like the NES and Genesis, well, Master System. Uh, so they're on the way, but we don't have a USB arcade stick. We do now. Kieran donated this lovely, uh, what was built is a kit. Uh, the little processor in there and the buttons. And yeah, you actually build this as a kit. Very easy to do. There is a video on Kieran's channel on when he built this. I will put a link down to the video. And yes, this has brought a new genera new age into my gaming. I've been playing shmops, shoot em ups, and I've uh, been getting quite good at them using this because I've never had uh, a USB joystick I can use on the emulators before. I've got a uh, Genesis, sorry, Master System arcade stick down there, but uh, yeah, never had one for the emulators, so this goes well with all this stuff. Why am I looking like you're not an emulator? I have no idea. Okay, it goes well with all the stuff there, so thank you very much, Kieran. We are making lots of use of that. Now, Shall I do the big things or the sexies first? Let's do the sexies. Uh, in case you don't know, sexies is my term for old media that is still in its original wrappings, which I keep up there. There's usually a lot more up there, but it's more down here because it hasn't been shown on the channel yet. Uh, I've started the oldest one. <clears throat> uh, this is a box. They're nothing special, but I've never seen a boxed version before. And this is a TDK D60s. And in there, complete, reliable cassette mechanism. Uh, 
sealed, all still sealed. Excellent. I have a strange thing for sealed tapes. I don't know what it is. Sealed media, any sealed media. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's never been touched. Kinky. Uh, yeah, so I used to have these when I was uh, a youngster. We used to have a place called Wassie's Market in Stoke-on-Trent where I lived at the time I was brought up. And uh, yeah, there's been loads of places selling these. So they certainly bring back memories. There's a year on these. Mm. There's a buzz. Hello, buzz. That's right, way down there. Uh, 1986. Yeah, so 1986 then. Not doing bad, are they? Should I open them? Yeah, no, no need to open them. So they usually live uh, there. So I'm going to put them back there. Some TDK ARs up there as well. Look. Mm, beautiful TDK ARs, which are from, say, oh, 1988. 1988 TDK ARs. Love sexies. Sorry. So really geeky and sad, I know, but I enjoy it. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, talking to sexies. <clears throat> Why do I have many discs here? I don't know. These have been around for ages. They are nothing there. They jumped in the queue. They want, they want attention. That's what it is. Okay, and another one. Uh, let's call it the ignorance of charity shops. Sometimes the ignorance of charity shops uh, comes in handy because... I got these for 90p. They were selling cassette tapes for 30p each. You go quiet, what's up? Nothing. They sell cassette tapes for 30p each, and obviously there's three here. So they sold me these for 90. Except for those with a keener eye, you will notice these are not cassette tapes. These are videotapes, uh, high eight videotapes. Uh, I have never, this is the only time I've ever seen these in the wild. And they sold me for dirt cheap. Go for a hell of a lot more on eBay, but uh, these are now my sexies, so they're going nowhere. They're going up in the sexy corner. Yes. Uh, let's put you up there. My my butt shots. There you go. We can do about it. Oh yeah, turn off. Nah. Right. Uh, oh, they don't fit now. What's going on? We have some faster. Okay. Enough. I'll do that later. You go back up there and behave. Right, a cup of tea. That's the sex he's done. Mm. So, if you've got sexies, you need a sexy player. And uh, I'll do one of them first. This one is the first one, and it's tangled up. This is a Philips. LFH0084-15 It's a dictation machine. I don't have the microphone but That is stuck up the end there and yeah, these are from the 1960s. I believe this one Yeah, from what we can tell it does have a tape in this is the only tape I have for this and there's no tape on it But I don't without the microphone uh, I don't think it's ever going to play. I'm not sure if it's got built-in speaker or not. Uh, there's no obvious sign of a speaker. I know some of these actually played through their microphones, used them as speakers. Uh, but got that for the record button. So if anybody's got any tapes for these, or the microphone, it'd be interesting to have. Uh, weighs a ton. Uh, yeah, I have a strange thing for old dictation machines. I think it's all the analog technology. I just love the old analog technology stuff. Talking of which, our next customer has come. Oh, by the way, this has no power at the moment. I'm just on it. Uh, so I don't actually know if it works. It does work in the aspect of killing your arm because it weighs a ton. But that's nothing compared to what I'm going to show you next. But before I do, also found this in the carbon cell. Another tape system I've never seen before. This is a Philips, well the tape isn't Philips EL3951. And when you open up, oh sir, oh sir, oh look at that, oh. Side one, side two. Never seen these before, 
ever uh, and we don't have a player we thought that player there might be the one it works with but uh, so we're just going off camera how ignorant uh, no it is definitely not the one I'll just confirm that I'm just going to physically check no no it's uh, definitely not no so yes I've never seen these tapes before so that's another format there's a lot of these analog formats from the 50s 70s that uh, are all over the place I wonder if there's a complete register of all the formats known because there's lots now the next one Excuse me, this is its power lead. So you can see why I'm probably never going to power this thing, but uh, for those people who are fans of Fallout and the design language of Fallout, you're going to appreciate this one. Because it looks like it's just come out of Fallout. This is a Grandig uh, Stereoet S. Made in West Germany. Dates. Ooh, smell. <sighs> Smells of old. Dates back to the 1950s. This may get a separate video if I ever get power to it or the microphone because it does have a separate microphone which it uses as a speaker. Didn't have that. This came from a charity shop for £10. It's got a weird dial back here. Uh, <sighs> So I got it home, all nice, all proud of myself for finding this rare piece of rareness. And uh, first thing you did, drop it coming through the door. So it's got a big crack going up there. And a crack going up there. Uh, the button's all twisted, but I got them back straight. Uh, so, yeah, dopey me. And it's another format, which I've never seen. It's it's pulled onto this reel here, which, is, which stays in position. And you can set is this thing. And no, it does not match up with the one on the Philips. I've tried. Uh, there's a dial in the back there. And that must be a percentage of tape left or minutes or whatever. So yeah, and that weighs a lot more than the other one. Some dials here. Oh, they're fuses, sorry, it's fuses. And that's uh, selector for power. So there we go. That's nice. So what I'm going to do, I think you can see this here. I'm going to put these back where they usually live <coughs> and another thing we got I'll sort them out later yeah, there's nothing to do with retro gaming or anything but I thought you know all a little like a causing a little bit of trouble now and again and this will come in handy for that a crossbow that fires toothpicks so when my toothpick gum which bug is neck with toothpicks. <laughs> they were here five minutes ago. Well, before I started the video. And, oh, there they are. There they are. <clears throat> One bug is next to them. Right. Okay. So, put a little tooth. Wait, put it back. Prime. Prime it. Put a little toothpick in there. And hopefully, excellent. It fires, and surprisingly, <coughs> you can actually get your toothpick back then to take the time. So, uh, took a while to get the confidence up to do this, but I do not recommend you try, try this at home, and do not do it towards your eyes or anything. But I get this in properly. What fighting going on behind me? Ow. Yeah. Just a quick nip. Doesn't hurt, doesn't draw blood. Not on this occasion anyway. No. That's a different story. Uh, so, yeah. Five pound from China on eBay. Uh, toothpick crossbow. Never seen them before. Uh, good little bit of fun. Alright. So, what we're we doing next? We are talking about the 3D printer accident. Yes, I was. You may know the 3D printer has a bit of a noisy fan on the head, so replace the fan. 
and I went to tighten up the head and the holder for the head cracked. Bugger. Uh, so I'm going to have to print out a new one. It still works, it's still in position, but it's not ideal. Uh, you can see the crack going through the side of it. Um, but it's still working, but I'll get a new one printed out. Uh, but to do it, we printed this one out a while ago for Kieran when he was here, and he left it behind. Bugger. I'll have to get him to him. Uh, I thought what I'll do is print a larger version out, uh, just to test it. And this guy came out. Now, as you can see, there's a weird pattern on his skin. Uh, this is because of one of the settings I set it wrong. We're doing this in a separate video sometime. Uh, but I got one of the settings wrong. And actually, the infill is slightly coming through the wall, giving this sort of Spider-Man effect. Apparently, some people play with this uh, setting to make uh, interesting patterns on prints. So, discovered by accident. I will be doing a video on that sometime. Uh... Right, live shows, yes, we are. You may have noticed on my channel lately, uh, since we got the ooh, 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 decent broadband, there's been quite a few live shows going up. Uh, we are enjoying doing these. Uh, Fluffy's getting involved too. Uh, Keeman came over to do one. I was going to be coming over to do more. If there's anybody local to uh, where I live, concert area, uh, wants to come and do one with us, then uh, we'll get in touch. Uh, but yes, we're enjoying them and the thing is you get to interact live with people as they're watching the video on the live chat So it's bringing back the community spirit. I think it is starting to sort of bring back the early days and if we Then the ways we can use it we can sort of bring back all the challenges and stuff that we used to do so uh, Watch this space, but yeah expect a lot more of them. Don't worry about the short videos the the ones where I attempt different games, they are still doing. I'm recording some of them today. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, that is starting to bring back the community spirit that's been missing for years. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that as well. Uh, and uh, last but not least, just to say, when I finish this video, I should be working with this guy on another video. Which should be a bit fun. So, Keep an eye out for that. And uh, other than that, yes, I think that's everything covered. So if you've got any comments, then uh, please leave them, obviously, in the comment box. If not subscribed and you like this sort of thing, you like live shows and retro gaming, and retro technology, then please, please consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, then please hit that notification bell so it actually does tell you when videos come up. Common problem. Other than that, if you enjoyed it, please like it and join us in Twitter and our Facebook group. So, thank you very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>